Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Signs here. I hope everybody's well. How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. Still knocking them out for the bonus round. Uh, I got four left. And then I can start September reads. And hopefully, hopefully, by the 31st of August, I'll have all those done too. We're going to see how it works. Um, Sag, cool. You're up. Okay. This reading will be for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. <laughs> Sag, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. There's throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too, Sagittarius. You can check your moon, rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Oh, snap. Hold that thought. Hangman reversed. And the Ace of Wands. Someone may be a little bit hung up on something. Wanting to strike a match somewhere. New start and passion. We'll see if they come back out. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and a difference. The cross watchers are always welcome here at the Friday Night Terror Table. Everybody's always welcome here at my table, and I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. While you're here, if you're new and you feel so inclined, wouldn't mind, want to keep coming down to hang out, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. That would be super awesome. Hit the like button if you like what you see. That'd be super cool, too. It all helps the channel. It is all greatly appreciated. Okay. Two things we got to go over before I invoke the cards and throw them down. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And by life-altering, I mean if it's going to destroy everything you've worked for, if you listen to a deck of cards, I don't care if it's my cards or somebody else's, I wouldn't, wouldn't take the advice of paper. Just saying. And I read tarot. So, go inside. Think it through. Follow your heart. Use your head. Listen to your intuition. The paper. Ultimately, they're paper. Okay. Two. If it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't force something to fit into your existence that's not fitting. If some of it vibes, okay, take that with you, but leave the rest on the table. Don't start no drama in your life. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with me again tonight. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for the gift that I've been given, and I ask that you give me clarity to accurately put Sagittarius on their highest possible spiritual path and bring them to their highest possible spiritual good. Sagittarius, why are you here? The moon reverse. Things are becoming clear. The fog is lifting. The moon is setting. The sun is starting to rise. The dawn has come. You're stepping out of the fun house. Okay. Restless energy in the past. Queen of Wands in the present. In the reverse. Okay. Might not be moving forward with something. Or you might be having some self-worth issues. You might be dealing with someone who's having self-worth issues. Because... She knows what she wants. She goes after it. She gets it. She knows her worth. And you damn well better know her worth, too. When she's in the reverse, she's a hot fucking mess. Just saying. You might be a little bit of a hot mess right now because things have not been so clear. I, I think this is all about to change and be lifted, but we'll throw some more cards on it. In the future, we have a three of wands reverse, so you're not going to be waiting on something anymore. Okay. Okay. Let's get clarity. Let's get clarity. No, we're not going to get clarity yet. We're going to get the energy, the person, or situation you're dealing with before we get clarity. 
Universe, Source, Spirit, and Guides, can I get the energy of the person or situation that Sagittarius is dealing with throughout the rest of August for their bonus reading? try to get one more shuffle out of that. This might be the next deck I replace. It's, it's seen better days. Five of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. You might be coming out of conflict with someone or something. And they may be trying to come out of conflict with you. End of conflict either way. Okay. Seven of Wands reversed again. Okay, the smoke and mirrors is lifting for you. Seven of Wands reversed for them. Losing an internal battle. Falling victim to their own demons. We'll get clarity in a minute. Nine of Cups reversed in the past. Speaking of demons. Speaking of demons, that is the too much fun doing something that they like a little bit too much card. Filling the cups with the wrong things card. Is this what made you restless? Who came first, the chicken or the egg? Six of Wands reversed current energy. <sighs> Look at me. Why aren't you looking at me? What's the future have to hold Knight of Cups? Well, okay. Offering a cup. <clears throat> huh. Now we get clarity. And I show off my new deck. So I got a new deck the other day. The Heaven and Earth Tarot. Jack Sephiroth and Jamie Elford. Probably like my, my favorite deck. It's gorgeous. The imagery is absolutely beautiful. Queen of Wands reversed again at the bottom of this deck. We'll see if she comes back out. But I gotta show you this imagery. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay, I'm trying not to get glare on it. I love this deck. I love it. It's beautiful. It's got a weird vibe though. So I don't know if I'm gonna bring it out too much more. I might just pull it out for personals or special reads. I don't know. But it is absolutely beautiful. I don't want to ruin it too. And it's already starting like bowl shape because. You guys know how I shuffle, so I shuffle like I'm playing poker. Okay. Universe Source Spirit Guides, can I get clarity for Sagittarius and the person or situation that they're dealing with? For the rest of August, please. King of Wands upright at the bottom of the deck. Let's see if he comes back out. Why is the moon reversed here? Four of Pentacles. What are you holding on to? What are you sitting on, Sag? 
Something's become clear. Truths have come out. What are you sitting on? Five of Pentacles. How did this go all financial all of a sudden? Why the Five of Pentacles? Seven of Swords reversed. More truths coming out. Truths coming out about money. Lack of money, sitting on money. I don't know, some of you may have a secret bank account. I don't know where the hell this is coming from. I guess it's not always love, is it? Okay. We'll return to that. Okay. Five, seven of wands reversed here for the other person. Three swords. Heartbreak. Queen of Wands came back out. Somebody might be rising up. One more. King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, what? Oh my god, you might be dealing with another fire sign. Someone's feeling defeated and broken hearted. And they feel genuine connection with you. It could be another... Could be another Aries Leo, another Sag. We want abundance with you. Are truths coming out about your money difficulties with this person? But they're broken hearted. Alright. Throw one more on this moon reverse, please. This just got good. Knight of Swords reversed. some of you may be coming to the reality of a financial situation. What the hell just happened on my table? We're done with this. We're moving on to this. Why is this Queen of Wands reversed up here? Justice. Some of you, this may be a legal matter. Four swords reversed, you're still restless.
trying to balance the scales, trying to balance the scales. Ten of Swords reversed, fighting a painful ending. You're fighting the ending of something. You're restless. Queen of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands upright. Queen of Cups. You still love this person. You still feel a great deal of emotion. You don't feel the fire. You don't feel the fire. The passion isn't there. It's making you restless. You're just trying to maintain balance. Deciding if you want to drop the sword, but you're fighting an ending. You may... Okay, the codependency card didn't come up yet, but you may feel codependent on this person. You don't want to be left out in the cold from this person, but truths are coming out. You're not saying what needs to be said. You're avoiding it. It's an energy of avoidance. You're avoiding an ending. Why is the Six of Wands reversed here for the other person? King of Swords. Very logical person, thinker, head over heart, might might be an air sign, might have air in their charts. Guarding emotions, trying not to make emotional decisions. Seven of Wands reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. That's wild. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse. It's that defeat energy. They feel so defeated. They're trying to rationalize everything. Three of Wands, they're not going to wait much longer though. They're not waiting much longer. They're, they're about to walk away from the dock. They're fixing to walk away because somebody's not having enough attention paid to them because they feel defeated. They're, they're trying to guard their emotions. They're trying to be logical. Rear view mirror. What's this four of swords reverse for the past? I understand that you're still restless, Sagittarius, but why were you restless before the sun? Could be a Leo. It's a card of Leo. Empress reversed. There's a soul tie. There's a soul connection. Soulmate connection just didn't grow. Might have something to do with the disconnect of a family or a family situation with the Empress, High Priestess, but this is indeed a powerful soulmate connection. You were connected energetically with this person. And you felt it for a while. You still feel it. And it makes you restless because you cannot shake this. Why is this Nine of Cups reversed here for them?
world reverse. They feel unfinished business. They don't want to close this cycle out. They're fighting an ending. Possibly trying to find some band-aids. They're discontent. They're fighting the ending. The fool. The fool. They may have already jumped ship once. Maybe they jumped ship and came back. I'm not taking these. I'm putting them back. Princess of Pentacles, they came back with an apology. Could have be had something to do with drug and alcohol addiction. King of Pentacles reversed. They have self-worth issues. They had self-worth issues. Maybe they weren't making enough coin. Maybe they weren't concentrating on coin. It's, it's a little bit of an irresponsible energy. If it fits, great. If, if it doesn't, leave it. Mm. I mean, not great, because I wouldn't wish this on anybody, but this is kind of a cluster cuss of, I don't know what the hell. Y'all thought about money a lot, tell you that right now. But you are all energetically up at each other. I think they want the happy home with you and they're a little heartbroken and defeated because you don't. throw one more on this moon before I move into the future because now I'm curious one more on the moon reversed strength reversed you're drained as fuck this is straight up draining revealing of secrets unable to hold back you're gonna explode you're trying to hold back. I think you've been sitting on this for a minute. You don't want to be left out in the cold. It's like you feel like you're going to lose everything if you lose this person. But they drain you at the same time. Okay. Okay. Three of Wands reversed four for Sagittarius for the future. Death reversed. You are no longer going to wait around for things to not change. You love this person. You do. But I think this has been a merry-go-round that's been going around for a while. A lot of wands on this table right now. Six of swords, you're moving on. Six of swords. I, I think you're lulling at this point of exactly how choppy waters are going to get if you disconnect. That five of pentacles is, it says it all. It's like financial codependency without getting the financial codependency card. One more. King of Cups reversed emotional closing off. Wow, Sag. Can't cage a Sag, can ya? Two of Wands. Picking a path. Letting go of the past. Moving toward the future and the world that is before you. I'm not beating that dead horse anymore. What's the Knight of Cups here for for them? Temperance. 
Sag such a card. Knight of Wands reversed. Nine of Swords. Oh, shit. They want to offer you a cup. They're going to try to offer you that cup. They want energies. Energies to stabilize with the Temperance card. They want positivity. This is going to keep them up at night. Continuing in that restless energy. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? of wands. Look at me! They're consumed by you. I think they're a little nuts over you. I think they've been a little nuts over you for a minute, and I think they're going to stay a little nuts over you. I think they're going to try to walk away, but I think it's going to be to no avail. Mm. Four of Wands, leaving that door open. Leaving the door open, wanting to build that foundation, wanting celebration with you. They're a little nuts over you. Knight of Wands is in the reverse. I'm not seeing that as a lack of action. I'm seeing that as a party pony wanting to settle down. <laughs> That's settling down. Wow. What's you to do, Sag? Well... Hate to say it, I don't. I don't think this is your last rodeo with this person because the wheel of fortune's in the reverse. <laughs> Page of swords reversed. Things you don't want to hear. Five of cups reversed. Coming out of sadness. All right. Ten of Cups. This isn't over. This is going to sound very strange, but I think whatever path you decide to go down, it will lead you to your Ten of Cups. But don't be shocked if you end up back where you are. Everything comes back around. Super weird energy. What the hell, Sag? Page of Swords reversed, Six of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed. If it's not going to be equal give and take, and they're not going to treat you the way you deserve to be treated, don't pay it no mind. Don't pay it no mind. Mm-mm. You need to come out of this state of sadness and start looking at the blessings. Because you're just keeping the chariot dead in the road if you keep ignoring every cup that comes your way. Because you're never going to know if it's equal give and take or not. you got to process whatever emotions you need to process in regards to this. Don't fill your cups with negative things. And don't consume yourself with negative emotions. Because that's how people make emotional decisions. And things come out wrong. Don't let this consume you. And cause further negative energy. Whatever choice you make is whatever choice you make.
but make your choice with clarity, not confusion. Okay. Wow. Sag. Hi. Seven of Wands. I actively hold true to my values. That's absolutely true. Hold true to what you value. Let your moral compass point you down the right path. I know it's a little shaky. I'm a sad son myself. Six of Swords. I know that peaceful times will come. There is peace in the chaos, I promise. Capricorn got this too. When I show my work, others give support. Maybe. Maybe somebody out there needs to let somebody in on what they're doing. Let somebody in on your side hustle, maybe? I don't know. People can't support you if you keep things locked up, though. Okay, one more. Five of Pentacles. I am supported and I am never alone. The Capricorn got this one, too. Okay. I love you guys. This has been your what's left of August. Take, take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Hopefully before the 31st of August, I will have the September reads up. If I fail to do so, I will apologize in advance. You know, my life's kind of crazy. Uh, but I promise there will be a next time and I will catch you next time because there is always a next time. Be safe. Know that you're loved and be blessed.